I can't get over how much this is resembling Las Vegas. But this is not Las Vegas. This is Manila, Philippines. Hey everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. Gorgeous evening here with a beautiful garden. And I'm just here at the Shangri-La Etza Hotel and I'm pretty excited because I heard there was a really nice buffet called the Heat Buffet that offers international cuisines from around the world and they specialize in uh, various dishes or in a particular country. And I believe at this time they are featuring India. So all those wonderful tandoori treats and the wonderful breads. And I am a little bit early because uh, I like to come when the buffet is nice and pristine. But I got a chance to spend an amazing day in the Philippines with good friends Sam and Carla. We went for some amazing bulalo, the beef soup. And we did not have to go to Tagatai to experience that wonderful delight. This is Pat Pat Can See, a wonderful establishment with a cauldron of that wonderful beef soup, nice and rich and tangy, with loads and loads of bone marrow and the wonderful beef. So Sam did the ordering with Marissa and he went overboard, but it was such a treat. That bulalo was the best I've ever had. Meat was nice and tender, just melts in your mouth. So unctuous and so delicious and a little bit of tang just balances out perfectly. And that big brontosaurus bone is not for show. Inside is the delicious marrow, rich fatty goodness, and a little bit of encouragement with a bit of a shake. And it comes out beautifully. A little bit of bone marrow on the rice mixed with the soup makes the perfect bite. Each grain of rice is coated with that wonderful marrow and moistened with that delicious tangy beefy soup. So really grateful to get to experience such a nice meal with great friends. And I actually got a chance to visit some of the night food, some of the street food, wonderful dishes. This is Manila Midnight Madness at its best with the wonderful heat and the grill and the sizzle of the wonderful skewers and sisig. And the one downside, a lot of karaoke and it just isn't my thing, but it was a fantastic experience. So really grateful for that. And also really grateful to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Ridge makes amazing minimalistic wallets that are effective at keeping your valuables and data safe. Whether at home or when traveling, I hate bulky wallets and Ridge is an effective solution to that. And let me show you mine. Nice and compact. It holds 12 cards with room enough for cash. And these right here is a holder for an AirTag. And if you're like me who misplaces a wallet all the time, the AirTag is a perfect solution to know exactly where your wallet is. It's not gonna prevent theft, but if you leave it in your car or in your hotel room or at home, it's nice to know exactly where it is. Nice to have that peace of mind. And also the RFID protection also brings you peace of mind to ensure your data is safe. And with the durable materials used, Ridge offers a lifetime warranty. And in fact, with the 3 million plus customers and the over 80,000 five-star reviews, the Ridge team is so sure you'll love their wallet that they'll offer a 99-day money-back satisfaction guarantee so there really isn't any risk. And recently, I got to present my friend Lawrence with a Ridge wallet. And as for Asian customs, it's always nice to seed the wallet with some cash, red bills in particular. They make a most welcome, cherished, and stylish gift, especially if you have one of those friends that are a bit hard to shop for, and we all have one of those. So give them a try. Visit Ridge online, and there you'll find over 30 styles and colors to choose from. My favorite is a carbon fiber and check out their new styles with their Hyperlime set, as well as the gorgeous pastel colors of their ceramic powder collection. And along with the amazing wallets, they have rings and the wonderful key cases as well. Each key case holds up to six keys, so no more jingling keys in your pocket. And it gets even better because between now and December 20th, Ridge is off for a promotion. For the best deal, use link ridge.com slash Tim Lee to save 30% off your purchase. That is ridge.com slash Tim Lee to save 30% off your purchase. And yet there is another thing because Ridge is offering a prize bundle worth $4,000. And for a chance to enter to win, all you need to do is visit my link, ridge.com slash Tim Lee. And there you can enter using your email or SMS for a chance to win that amazing prize. So with that, I think it is time for dinner and I think the buffet is ready. Uh, come on, I hope you're hungry. Uh, let's have a great meal together. And it's wonderful to see all the hardworking folks preparing for the buffet. And let's go in. All right. all right, as nice as it was out there, it is pretty warm and it's so nice to be in a air-conditioned hotel. 
and uh, I think the buffet is right up over there. Let's go check it out. Thank you so much. So the buffet is looking pretty good. Oh, thank you. The big one? Wow, thank you so much. Thank you, Rose. Oh, so this looks pretty amazing here and Rose got you this massive table. And uh, as massive as the table is, I got a chance to check out the buffet and it was massive as well. Lots of Indian food. I think this is, uh, they call it the Tailwinds series of buffets. So uh, every month or every quarter, they have new cuisine from around the world. And uh, it just so happens to be Indian. And uh, really nice because I'm situated right here, overlooking the pool area, which I was just at. And as nice as it was outside, it's nice to be inside. Let me show you the room here. Gorgeous dining room and the buffet is right over there. And while it may not be too full right now, that's because it's early and I again like to get here at the very start. Uh, but I think maybe a little bit of a drink first and I see it coming. Thank you so much. This looks so refreshing. Wonderful foamy egg white and a whiskey sour to a wonderful meal. Mm. Very refreshing and a little bit of the foamy egg white makes it extra creamy in the best possible way. Mm. Very nice. And with that, I think we are ready for the buffet. Come on, let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. So this looks pretty amazing. Many stations here. And I think we are behind the buffet because that is the dessert station and moving up, we see the wonderful seafood and a noodle station, some drinks. Oh, and look at that massive lamb over there. And I'm not sure if that is a lamb or a camel because that is looking so ginormous. And over there, I see some prime rib all the way at the back. And typically in Asia, they do cook it well. So I'm just gonna watch out for that. But let's start off with the appetizers first. Uh, hi, how are you? Oh, what is this? This one sir, is a pork barbecue. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. What do you want sir? Thank you so much. Okay. So I'll definitely go for a skewer and uh, Freddie was very kind to offer that. Let me just grab a plate first. And then I think this is the appetizer section, starting off with the wonderful salads. All right, let's see what they have. Beautiful seafood salad. And I think that is a uh, butcher salad with lots of meats and some veggies. Go for a little bit of seafood. Right over here, a little bit more. And let's try a butcher salad. Lots of meats and poultry. Grab the egg. All right, so looking really good. Some fresh veggies and some more salads here and the wonderful little bits and bites. And this must be the longest California roll I've ever seen because it just stretches from one end all the way to the bar. So hopefully as the evening goes on, the roll will get shorter and shorter, but let's give some of this a try. A little bit of uh, canapes and expertly plated with a pair of tweezers, salmon crostini, a little bit of caviar next to the first. And while we're at it, let's go for the California roll. Right over here. So that is looking pretty nice. And let's see, oh, this is interesting. Over here is what they call a salmon mosaic. And uh, this looks like a work of art and a tasty one at that. And let's see, and a little bit of quiche, some more items here. And this looks interesting. This is a tuna bellini, carefully picked up. Moving on, a little bit of salmon smoked and more rolls, much shorter ones this time. Oh, and maybe a little bit of sashimi, just a little bit. Okay, salmon sashimi next to the salmon mosaic. All right, and now we're getting to the hot section. Some healthy veggies, tempura style, oh, and some tempura shrimp. Thank you, sir. So really nice, hot and fresh. We will go for a couple and they are crispy and not enough room. And I think this is a good start for the appetizers. So this plate is looking pretty good. And uh, oh, I see Freddie here. Thank you so much. You're very kind. So haven't even sat down yet. And uh, again, Freddie is very kind and all the folks here as well. Uh, so 
not only do I have my plate of appetizers here, uh, some bread on the table, I think they left. And uh, Freddie was kind enough to offer some garlic butter shrimp. So fantastic service here. And uh, as good as a shrimp is, I think I need to try the other shrimp. That is a shrimp of tempura. While it is nice and crispy, let's grab a little bit of this here in the tempura sauce. Mm. Nothing like a fresh tempura, nicely battered and crispy and a fresh springy shrimp on the inside. A little bit more. Mm. Very nice. The Bellini looks pretty nice. I think uh, this is tuna and a wonderful mound of toppings. Cheers. Oh, that is delicious. The blini is light and fluffy and that mound of tuna, delicate with a bit of herbaceousness with the onions. Mm. Very fresh. And to the cousin of the tuna, let's try the salmon canopy. Very fresh, light salmon, very mild, but with the kick of the caviar, really wonderful. Mm. I'm gonna try the California roll, or I think it's a salmon roll. The longest roll I've ever seen. A little bit of wasabi and soy. Mm. Nice and refreshing. But I got to try the wonderful shrimp, the wonderful garlic butter shrimp from Freddy. Very kind of him. Let's try this on its own. Gorgeous. Mm. So fresh, perfect texture, crispy garlic with a buttery sauce. So luscious and rich. What a good start. Mm. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of the bread. Oh, nice and fresh. Mm. A little bit of butter in solid form. And a little bit of garlic butter shrimp. More butter in melted form. Let's give this a try. Mm. You do need a little bit of the focaccia to soak up all that wonderful garlic butter. And I think the bread and the butter is on par with the shrimp. Cheers. Mm. Very nice. So I think I'm gonna finish this up. There's lots more stations to go from the Chinese to the Indian to uh, the Filipino station. So I'll take you back. Mm. Wonderful start with the appetizers and I think I'm gonna save a little bit of the garlic shrimp for some rice and noodles. It just makes a wonderful sauce, but lots of salmon on the appetizers. Nice to have some salmon sashimi to freshen things up. And that salmon mosaic was exquisite visually and in taste. Very delicate and subtle, a wonderful surprise. And the butcher salad, lots of meat and that wonderful egg. So this concludes round one, let's go for round two. All right, so let's see what we have here. And starting off here, this is a fierce looking fish. Looks uh, intimidating, but I'm sure it'll taste magnificent. So I'm just gonna give that a try. Oh, I don't actually wanna break it up, but this is a tandoori grouper. And uh, let's see, perfect, right over here. And I think that skin should be nice and crispy. A wonderful array of cloches in clay pot form. Let's see, a little bit of rice. And it gets better. This is garlic rice. Just a little for the shrimp. Right here. And more rice. This is vegetable rice. Hi, Pam. Hi. Oh, Freddie, thank yeah. you so much for the shrimp. Uh, that was delicious. And I'm going to get some rice for it. Yeah. What is this? Uh, right, uh, fried rice, tocino. Tocino yeah, with pork. pork. Well, I'll try a little bit of this. 
Oh, making a mess here. That's there we go. This is a wonderful. Oh, some wonderful soup. Yes. Oh. Pinigang for the mango. Oh, wonderful. Can I try a Filipino simigang sir. Oh, can I try a little bit? Yeah. I'm making them very Oh, all right. Thank you so much. So, Freddy is just incredible. Really fantastic folks here with a also, M and all the other folks here. Oh, look at this. All right, a beautiful stew. I think this is... Oh, beautiful chicken. And I think this is perfect for the rice. Right over here. And moving on, we have some veggies. And oh my goodness. What... It's, a, it's a goat. Goat, oh, okay, it's stew goat. Call me in Tagalog, Calderetang Kambing. Oh, camping. Yeah. Oh, Catareta yeah. camping. Yeah. Oh, beautiful stew yeah. goat. Oh, okay. Oh, next to the chicken. A little bit of sauce. And the wonderful pork skewers that Freddie was barbecuing up earlier. Right on the rice. And some shrimp crackers and crackers of salmon deli. And that is a fried egg. So that's quick, quick. Yeah. So fun to say. Okay. <laughs> oh, and look at this. The beautiful lechon. I'll grab a little bit here. And that is so tender. Right there with a little bit of sauce. And I'll definitely come back uh, for the skin because earlier on I saw the lechon all lacquered and crispy. And within 30 seconds, all the skin is gone as it should be. Let's see what we have. So this is definitely the Asian section. This is barbecue duck. Hi, Camille. Wow, look at this. So lots of rice, oh, pork, sweet, sweet and sour fish, black pepper, short ribs, and some veggies. And there is some dim sum here. I think I will go for a shell mai. Looks really nice. And not too much room here. And moving on, I think this is a biryani. And again, this is Indian theme. And as much as I would love to get some biryani, I think they have a biryani station there. So I'll check that out later. Some chicken. Oh, this is barramundi. Oh, maybe a little bit here. Oh, perfectly cooked. And then right in the center, drizzled with a little bit more butter. This is the Italian station. Some pizza. Oh, some arancini lasagna and as much as i love lasagna that is just too big for me because we need to prioritize our uh, space and uh, oh so off of italy we are in spain in valencia with the paella and uh, some mojos and calamari so moving on the next country india and we'll start off with a little bit of papadoms i remember a good friend mentioned never go for papadoms because they are just there to fill you up, but they are so tasty. So this is uh, fish mule. Yeah, fish mule. Fish mule. Oh, beautiful. Oh, with the beautiful coconut sauce. And a little bit more. And this is palak paneer. Beautiful. Some nice spinach and a wonderful cheese right in the center. Some dal and a wonderful beef shawarma. Shout out. I can't resist. Beautiful lamb chops. See, let's go for one. Right here. Ah, there we go. And then beautiful items from the tandoor. The tandoori chicken, the shrimp, and the kebabs. Oh, a beautiful potato. Aloo. And this is my favorite. Lamb Rogan Josh. Thank you, Chef Alan. Oh, beautiful gravy. So this is a chicken, and this is the wonderful lamb, Rogan Josh. Oh, beautiful lamb right over here. And this is a whole grouper, and the grouper is the size of a small child. And I think we need to reach over to the other side. Oh my goodness. Oh. We are just pulling this apart. There we go. Beautiful grouper. 
And as nice as the grilled meats are, and Chef is serving them up, I think I'm going to save that for the next round while it's nice and fresh. And in the meantime, I will work on this. So I'm actually a little intimidated because I forgot how many dishes there were left at the... Oh, thank you, Chef Alan. Oh my goodness. What is this? Butter roti. Butter roti. Oh. All right. We'll, we'll do. Thank you. So again, really kind. And even before sitting down, we have more food here with the wonderful paratha. And it's always nice in a Filipino buffet. There are always people celebrating birthdays and other celebrations. Really nice to see. And I think I'm going to start off with a little bit of the bakora. And again, uh, be warned, this will fill you up, but that's okay. Mm. Because they're wonderfully tasty, nice and thin and crisp and a little bit spicy. And I think we can top this off with a block of paneer. Give that a try. Oh, collapsing under its own weight. Mm. Very nice. But I don't think I can let that paratha wait. And it's nice to have it nice and fresh. And in my younger days, I was able to break this with one hand. Let's see. And I still can. There we go. And we will enjoy the paratha with a lamb Rogan Josh. Oh, oh, so soft and tender, beautiful meat. And even more beautiful gravy. Mm. Oh, make sure you get the paratha and the lamb rogan josh cooked on the bone is tender and just falls apart and the crispy paratha beautiful mm. nothing like a fresh hot paratha and before it gets too cold i gotta try the lamb and i got a little bit of sauce for it some mint and i think this is another gravy and I should have had this earlier, but let's give it a try. Oh, very nice. So usually when filming, things cool down a bit, but this lamb is cooked perfectly nice and pink. And that's not very common here, but really appreciate the lamb cooked to medium. Oh, very good. <laughs> Finger licking good. But I got to try that garlic rice with the garlic butter with the garlic butter prawns. Let's see, let's grab one on the rice. Mm. As good as a prawn is, you really need that rice to make it the perfect bite and perfectly balanced with all the butter soaked up. Mm. Very nice. And finally, the lechon. And I think this one will need to cut into it. Mm. Oh, and it is tender. Mm. The tenderest pork, the tenderest pork because it's been roasted for so long. And that luscious lechon sauce, a little bit of tang, and perfectly balanced. Mm. So, wonderful hot food round. And uh, I think I'm going to finish this up. And then I really want to go for the grilled items while it's nice and fresh. And I'll take you back. I definitely overdid it with this round. But in my defense, uh, the chefs were so kind and gracious with all the extra dishes. It really is filling me up especially with the paratha and that wonderful fish. Nice and succulent, beautiful gravy. And speaking of fish, that ginormous grouper earlier, well, sometimes at a buffet, it does run the risk of being dry and it was a little over, but a little bit of gravy kind of saved the day. And speaking of gravy, that stewed goat, the Filipino dish, so luscious, pork tender, a little bit of rice. It was absolutely heavenly. And the rice certainly goes with everything. Definitely that buttery biramundi. 
fun to say and very delicious to eat. So I think I'm just going to go easy on the next round and just go for the grilled items when it's nice and fresh. Uh, come on, let's check it out. Oh, I miss the entire biryani station and uh, as good as it is, don't think I can have any more. But I will try a little bit of the roast lamb. Hi, Jeff. Can I get a little bit of the lamb? Yeah, sure. And then do you have the ribeye? Yes, sir. Just a little bit. Can I, I try? Medium. Medium. Yeah. Uh, medium as well. Medium. Yeah. Just a very small amount. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, beautiful. All right. And while Chef is grilling up that wonderful prime rib, I think I'm going to go for a little bit of rice. So beautiful basmati rice, a little bit of saffron next to the lamb. And Chef K. Wow. Thank you. All right. So great folks here and a little bit of the red wine jus. Right there, put a little bit more, and then beautiful mint sauce on the lamb. And look at these Yorkshire puddings, nice and puffy and crispy. And as good as they look, I am just too full, but let's see. But as full as I am, I don't think I can say no to a nice comforting bowl of noodles. Hey Maria, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, can I have a bowl of noodles? Maybe, uh, maybe some beef? Fatty beef, nice and light. Great, thank you so much. Oh dear, usually it's always nice to find something new at the table. And I think Chef Freddy added this uh, Filipino synagogue, a wonderful soup. And I am in a little bit of trouble because I am so full. Let's give that a try. Oh, that is so rich, but tangy. So it kind of opens up your appetite and uh, beautiful meats as well. And the meat is absolutely spoon tender. Just fell off the bone. Mm. Oh. And you don't even have to chew it. Would have been great with a little bit of rice, but I think I'm going to try a little bit of the prime rib. Really nice that they can do it medium. So let's see. Well, cuts really nicely. Wonderfully pink. Oh, very nice. A perfect medium. So nice and tender with a bit of fat. And again, really nice to have a medium prime rib. Mm. Very nice. A little bit of the lamb and the mint sauce. Cuts nicely, a little bit of rice, just a tad. Mm. It's not too bad. Sometimes again, with lots of meat sitting out at a buffet, it tends to run a little bit dry, but that is just on the verge, still moist. But I got to go for that wonderful noodle and really nice of Maria to make this. This is vermicelli, so it's nice and light after a heavy meal and wonderful fatty meats or fatty beef. Mm. A little bit messy, but very warm and comforting. Soup is nice and meaty and light, and the noodles are slippery and slurpy goodness. Mm. So again, I think after the prime rib and the soup, I am done and I can't wait to take you for dessert. Oh, wish me luck for your health. All right, so we are nearing the end and this is the dessert section. This is confectionery row and next to confectionery row are the wonderful people making the crepes and the churros. Oh, beautiful crepe. So there are so many to choose from. 
take a look here. So right there appears to be a Halo Halo station. And let's see, wonderful fruits and the ice cream. But I think I see a doer over there. And when you see a doer, there's liquid nitrogen. <laughs> when there's liquid nitrogen, I think it is freshly made ice cream. So definitely have to go for some uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream. But before that, I think I'm gonna save that at the very last moment. But look at this. I should have beautiful churros. As nice as the churros are, I think this is a Filipino dessert. Sticky rice. Sticky rice and deep fried. Deep fried. Oh, wonderful. Oh, sugar would be great. Oh, thank you, chef. Okay, so looking pretty good. And let's see what else. My goodness, this is something I've never seen before, but looks incredibly delicious and incredibly sinful. These are croissants, deep fried. This is definitely a first. And I think what goes good with a deep fried croissant, then a little bit of cinnamon sugar. Really nice to try the traditional Filipino desserts and uh, uh, an interesting take, a little bit of American, French, and uh, deep fried goodness. And I think we have some more traditional items here. And behind are the Western items. Beautiful cheesecake, a lemon meringue tart, the most wonderful brownies I've seen. And to lighten things up, a uh, deep dark chocolate cake, a little bit lighter than the brownie. And I definitely need to go for the mango cake. I will take a small sliver. A little bit awkward and it slides down a beautiful matcha mousse cake some uh, butterscotch cakes this is i think a dense opera cake and as much as i would love to go for those i'm just so full oh a japanese cheesecake more brownies a cheesecake but i think a little bit of a mandarin orange mousse cake would hit the spot and i'm purposely going for small amounts right over here a little bit of a mess so i'm purposely not overdoing it with the desserts because i can't wait to try the uh homemade fresh immediate instant ice cream that's wonderful oh my goodness hi eliza can i get some ice cream that looks wonderful Oh, maybe a little bit of walnuts and that's it. Oh, and this is pistachio, cardamom. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you, Elisa. I am so full, but I can't resist the ice cream. And one of the things with nitrogen ice cream is that it tends to melt pretty quick. So we just have to eat this post taste oh oh that has got to be the smoothest ice cream i've ever had wonderful pistachio ice cream a floral hint of cardamom and the crunch of the walnuts texture of nitrogen i <laughs> really don't know what i'm saying mm. But this is velvety smooth and when you come here, definitely go for the nitrogen ice cream. Mm. So good. And the only thing that would complement a nitrogen ice cream is a nice cup of coffee. Thank you. Perfect timing. Mm. Very nice. And I think I got to try the traditional Filipino dessert. The wonderful crispy sticky rice with a lot of sugar. Oh. And the nice thing with the sticky rice is that you can stick a lot of sugar on it. Mm. It's very good. 
Well, that's too big of a bite for sticky rice. Mm. Coffee to the rescue. And I think we need to lighten things up a little bit with the mandarin orange cake. And it is light. What a lovely contrast. Nice, very light, smooth, and floral. Mm. And for something completely opposite of that, I'm going to try the deep fried croissant. Wonderful French pastry, Filipino style. Oh. I think this is going to be my favorite dessert from now on. Light and crispy, but rich and buttery at the same time. A little bit of sugar. And I think the only way to make this better is with the pistachio ice cream. Still have a little bit left. Right on top. This is deep fried croissant a la mode. Mm. Oh. Crispy, crunchy, a little bit messy but heavenly. So I think I'm going to finish up this dessert. Uh, and I think that is it for me. And oh, what is this? Oh, chef, what is this? With salty cow, sir. Oh. With uh, more garlic and then uh, a little bit of meat, spicy and then sour. Oh, well, you like it, oh, you're very kind. Thank you so much. Oh, dear Lord. Chef Kie was uh, is very kind and uh, I'm in trouble. But we still have a little bit of the bread left. And since I'm not here all that often, if uh, chef recommends this dish, I got to give it a try. And we'll try this on its own without the bread. A little bit tangy, he mentioned. Oh, and it is so soft. Oh. It is absolutely tender. And he is right. A little bit of tang and a little bit of spice and a lot of umami with some uh, shiitake mushrooms and that beef is perfectly tender. We still have a little bit of bread remaining and I think we need to use this even though it's a little bit cold to soak up some of that wonderful sauce. So. Oh, a little bit of peppers. Beef on top. Wonderful, garlicky, crunchy sauce. Mm. Very nice with the bread. Mm. Very nice. A little bit of dessert, a little bit of meal number two. Really fantastic here. So this is the heat buffet at the Shangri-La in uh, the Philippines, Shangri-La Etza. Fantastic folks here. Chef Freddy, Chef Kay, Chef Louise with the endless amounts of food and the wonderful hospitality. So I think I still have some work to do, but Thank you so much for joining and uh, really nice to uh, enjoy the day with great friends in the Philippines and we can connect in the evening with a wonderful buffet. So again, until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well and traveling well. Take care of each other and all the best to you and yours. Mm. Very nice. Wow, what is this? Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Um, thank you so much. Your great hospitality and, and, and thank you. And while I was not able to finish the last remaining dishes, they were kind enough to pack it home. <laughs>